Buddy? Buddy? It's yours truly, Music Clues here. Hello, everybody. It is I, uh, G. White from Smart Rascal Studios. Hello. Hi. Yes, it's me again. Of course, because I am the... Uh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. I, I've been thinking of something. Yes? Um... I'm not, dude, I am not just your co-host. I am a host, too. Give me some respect, please. <laughs> okay, <laughs> co-host. Don't call me co-host. I'm a host. I'm a host. Okay. I am a H-O-S-T, not just a C-O hyphen H-O-S-T. No, no, not the co. Just keep the host. Host. All please right. just call me a host. Please, all right, all just right. Just one time. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. For all the rest of the series and beyond, please. All right, all right, right. Whatever you say, host. Thank you. Jeez, <laughs> Louie. Oh, boy. Anyways. Jeezy, what... cheese, Lu Jeezy, cheese, Louise. <laughs> Anyways, ladies, welcome to today's episode of Pop Prince Preschool and Pals. And we're really homing in on the preschool today. Because uh, today is not just any episode, it is another special episode. But. Yeah, special. Special episode. And uh, that's because me and Dwight are going to be talking about one of our favorite topics. No, it's not all about preschool. No, it's not all about blue schools today. <laughs> that is one of my favorite topics, oh, yeah. but not... Just a little, kind of just a little bit, you know? Yeah, but uh, today we're blue talking about... Blue is in there, blue schools is in there, but not, but not, I mean, well, uh, kind of as a supporting part of it, but, uh, but, you know. Yeah, uh, today we're going to be talking about, about, well, uh, Nick Jr., Yes, Nick Jr. For those who are 100% out of the loop or have never seen Nick Jr. in their life, which I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't, uh, Nick Jr. is basically the kid, uh, kid or younger branch of Nickelodeon, Lodeon, uh, who is owned by formerly Viacom, Paramount, Paramount uh, co uh, Company, which uh, is, of course, uh, the owners of several popular IPs, but mainly in the terms of kid shows, SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, but Nick Jr. is basically the branch. This branch has a lot. And I do mean a lot of history. So for this episode, we're going to be reminisce. We're going to go over the history of Nick Jr., reminisce on some of our favorite things that came out of the network, and we will also be talking about another key part of the Blue Universe. Uh, rather in this case, which, well, I mean, well, rather the Blue Universe project. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, yeah, yeah, the, it's not just the Blue Universe. I mean, it's a whole, it's a whole kind of project, you see? I like to call it the Blue Universe project. So that's what we're going to be calling it from now on, not just the Blue Universe. But I, you do also have the junior verse. Indeed, indeed. As part of it, and this whole big thing with the blue and the junior verse is called the Blue Universe Project. Uh, well, L, there you go. So, oh, yeah, uh, the Blue Universe Project. So we will be talking about the junior universe part of it today. They, in addition to, you know, throwing it back. But first things first. First, we have to get started with the former years of Nick Jr. Because not a lot of you probably know what Nick Jr. is if you've been paying attention. So, uh, it launched. Right, 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 right. Of course, of course. But, well, um, but, well, we're not going to go. All right. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Uh, had some, uh, Technical difficulties, you could say. <clears throat> Anyways, but yeah, so we won't go over the whole Nick Jr. history, but we will go over some of it, at least the important bits. But just, just key parts. All right, 
So, oh, in April of 19, uh, 1979. Jeez. <laughs> Man. And I didn't know that Junior debuted it that long ago. 79, huh? Yep. Um, um, uh, the, so mainly, mainly beforehand, Nick Jun Nickelodeon used to air preschool stuff, uh, preschool stuff in the morning. Morning. Right. Uh, but it was, it was like owned by them yet, right? Yeah, it wasn't the owned by, uh, it wasn't Nick Jr. back then, then. Then around Jan uh, January 4th, 1988 is when it officially started for Nick Jr. Mm -hmm. Uh, and just like a lot of stuff for Nick Jr. at the time, time Nick Jr. used uh, the Nickelodeon branding, uh, lettering, but it also used its own set of Nick Jr. Uh, it also just, you know, ran with a little bit more color, color and stuff to make it seem more kid friendly. Right. Yep. Okay. So, well, those were the early years. Yes. Then around two, uh, 1994 to 2003, Nick Jr. was rebranded. Branded. Oh, totally rebranded. And in addition to that, App Face was introduced. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know who Face is, it's this guy. Yeah, yeah. just it, a face. Yeah, but he's more than just a face to a lot of people. He was literally a lot of people's childhood. He even showed up in some of the Nick Jr. VHSs. Uh, yeah, of course. And you always, you know, say, like, what's next and what's coming up on Nick Jr. Indeed, indeed. Uh, also, in addition to that, 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 we also got two brand new iconic series, series that aired during this time. Those being Gala Gala Island and mm -hmm. A Legless Window, which, fun fact for you, by the way, a Angel... Uh, Angelo Cemento, who worked on Blue's Clues and, of, and of course, several other preschool, very popular preschool series, including uh, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Uh, she, oh, uh, and Super Y. Don't forget about Super Y. She worked on that, too. Oh, and Super Y. Uh, she, uh, she, this was actually her first gig before Blue's Clues, so... Uh, and then, in 1995, the year before Blue's Clues premiered, is we got The Busy World of Richard Scary. Uh, of course, based on the, well, of course, based on those Richard Scary books, like with, you know, Huckle Cat and the Lowly, the Worm Guy, you yep. know, all of them. Uh, and also premiered Robert, which I don't, I've never heard of, and the iconic Iconic yet somewhat not talked about, out as much. A uh, little bear. Oh uh, yeah, of course. I grew up a little bear myself. Personal favorite. Of course, I don't think I need to state this, but in on uh, September sixth, a nineteen ninety six, of course, the first episode of Blue's Clues premiered. Yep. Uh, and little, you know, little did people know this blue puppy would spawn a franchise? Yep, and it quickly replaced Gala Gala Island, Island as Nick Jr.'s most popular series. Huh, I wonder why. <laughs> uh, but uh, not that Gala Gala, Gala I Island did not, was not, not a success. Success. Uh, you could say, say that Blue's Clues just really honed in on the marketing with the Blue Puppy thing. Yeah, I mean, come on, I mean, kids would come for the Blue Puppy, but adults would stay for Steve, the host. Pretty much. I wouldn't blame, blame many girls for having a crush on him back then. <sighs> Sorry again, guys. Here's hoping we don't get interrupted anymore. Right, okay. <clears throat> 
Anyways, ways. And then, before we hit the 2000s, which is the uh, most iconic era for a lot of cartoons, Nickelodeon included, uh, we got three new series that premiered in books on the last year in 1999. And those would be the iconic Franklin, uh, of course, of course, of course. The lesser-known but still somewhat popular Kipper. And then... Maze, 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 maze. Ah, uh, that song stays stuck in my head all the time, I swear. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, those three iconic se series also aired during that time. Mm -hmm. Finally, uh, on Aug uh, finally, a brand new ser ser series also aired in that year, year, year following, and it was the iconic Dora 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 the Explorer. Of course. I mean. An another, well, another franchise hit. <laughs> of course, of course. And then around uh, the first uh, around the first year after the 2000s, 2001, we had the US dub of Bob the Builder. No, not that Bob the Builder. Ah, there we go, the classic one. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Uh, but yeah, yeah. And then along with that, Nick Jr. Junior introduced Noggin. Uh, well, Nog I said Noggin. Noggin was soon introduced. Uh, I'm not sure when Nickelodeon got Noggin. To be fair with you, but I do know for a fact that that uh, Noggin did air some of the uh, some of Nick Junior's series, such as Ubi and. Murphy and friends, as well, and of course, just like Nick Jr. had face, they had their own mascots. Oh uh, yes, Moose A. Moose and his pretty pal Z. Indeed, and then, and uh, coming along later in the two thousands and two thousand and uh, four, we had several new series premiere. Premiere. Uh, uh, Lazy Town, which is fun, a very popular meme. If you're in the gaming circles, you know which one. Uh, I mean, come on, I mean, come on, there was memes galore. You know, the mind, the, you know, the mind song, We Are Number One, of course. And, and my personal favorite, who did, who did, who could you expect for the fill up? <laughs> And then, like, as he laughs, his shoulders go up and down. Yeah, that mean. <laughs> uh, yeah. We also have Miss Sunny Patches, uh, pa uh Sunny Patch, uh, Mr. Spider's Sunny Patch Friends, which, underrated classic, personally. Seriously, not enough, mm -hmm. not enough people yeah, talk yeah. about this show. Mm -hmm. Blues Room, which, depending on the Blues Clues fan you ask, as considered the, one of the coolest shows, or in the worst. Uh, and then, we have, have... Well, actually, Blues Room was kind of divisive, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then finally, one of the more iconic ones, The Backyard Again. Of course, of course. Following that, we got our first ever Dora spin-off, that being Go Diego Go, featuring Dora's cousin Diego, as well as Wonder Pets, Wonder Pets, and of course, Wow Wow, Wubsy, 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 Wow Wow! Yep, yep, yep. All, all, all classics. And yes, I, I always remember me watching Wubsy's big movie on road trips with my dad, so... Yeah, yeah, I, I do too, dude. I do too. Then uh, I did not. Every time I watched it, I didn't like. I did not know it was just an excuse to just compile a bunch of Wubsy episodes together with just a loose narrative that Wubsy loses his memory and he moves like a cow. Yeah, not. 
probably the most blatant, blatant, blatant compilation I've seen to date. Yes, I will say that we've seen some pretty blatantly put together compilations, but if it wasn't already apparent, it was that one, that's got to probably be the laziest I've seen Nickelodeon ever do with a series. Period. Yeah, apparently young, yeah, young me did not get the memo when it switched from the, from the, that's what friends are for song over to the start of the new stuff. Yeah. All right. And then in 2007, seven, it's, uh, one of Dwight's favorite series of all time premiered. Oh, oh, I'll let him say it. Uh, which one? I, 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 I forgot. You know, the certain series that it may have, a, uh, with a certain character that may have a main role in your, uh, series we're gonna be talking about later? Yo, Gabba Gabba, hey, my child, yo. Oh, and you have Kyle Ann, but more Yo Gabba Gabba. Yo Gabba Gabba! Yes. Yo Gabba Gabba! Yes, still Yo Gabba Gabba, yes. With DJ Lance Rock and Bruno and Tufa and Groby and Sui and Plex. And yes, they are coming back with a reboot in 2024 on Apple TV Plus called Yo Gabba Gabba Land. And uh, sadly, DJ Lance is not going to be in it. But the Gabba Gang will. So, this should be interesting. And honestly, this has me a little bit conflicted because, because, bro, DJ Lance is still doing his thing and stuff, you know? I can eat, I can eat. Yeah, but why couldn't they bring him back for this reboot? I mean, it's coming this year, Apple TV Plus, and, and, and I mean, come on. They've already brought back the Gap again multiple times on TikTok. Hmm. Well, you know, sometimes, sometimes people get old, man. <laughs> and, oh, and yes, they literally had a video that announced that the Gabba Gang is back. They're still around. Of course. And Lance is still around. So, come on, it's right there. DJ Lance is still around, and the Gabba Gang is still around. I mean, come on. They could at least get DJ Lance for this reboot, but no. I can see why you're conflicted. <laughs> yeah, but, well, on the other hand, I think I'm not, not to be mad or anything, but I kind of think I might actually like this, where this new reboot is going, because it's not Yo Gabba Gabba. This reboot is called Yo Gabba Gabba Land. So I think this time it might rather focus a lot more on the, on the, all the Gabba gang and not just the Gabba Gang and DJ Lance. It's not going to be focusing on the Gabba Gang and DJ Lance anymore. It's just going to be rather shifting over to the Gabba Gang themselves. Which is going to be very interesting, to say the least. Yeah, because, like, you know, because I have playing with DJ Lance, well, I mean, well, we have seen, of course, the Gabba Gang interact with each other multiple times, but... Well, I mean, not just, well, like, not really all together without DJ Lance, you know? Indeed, indeed. Yeah, so I think in this reboot it's going to really give us a brand new perspective on, you know, if we explored a lot more of the guy who gave lives, just if DJ Lance wasn't there, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I... I think that's what this series is going to be, because... Just because that this isn't Yo Gabba Gabba anymore, it's Yo Gabba Gabba Land. You're adding that land into it. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, they're really giving us a big. I think they're really giving us a bigger expansion on the Yo Gabba Gabba universe with indeed. this reboot here by putting by just sneaking that little land word in right smack dab at the end of the title. This should be interesting to say the least. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyways, getting back on topic. Okay, so then 2014, uh, 2009 and 14 hit. That was the start of, in many people's opinion, myself included, the somewhat downgrade of Nickelodeon branding. Because uh, this is when the more modernish Nickelodeon branding came into play. And unfortunately, Nickelode Nick Jr. also got hit with that. 
So, gone is the iconic Splat logo from Nickelodeon, and the iconic puppets that Nick Jr. had for years. Years, and in its place is... This. Oh. Pretty, wait, 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 hold on. This is like the 2010s kind of logo? Yep. Oh, seems pretty simple to me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the def Nickel Nickelodeon definitely started to take a bit of a, a tumble here. That being said, they still still are pretty good, good, good of course. But yeah, uh, but they still did introduce new shows. Uh, those shows being during that time, uh, the Flesh Beat Band, Team of course, Team of Wizumi, right, but, uh. Mm. Bubble Guppies, Shimmer and Shine, Paw Patrol. Although technically that's not a Nick series, that's an aquatic series. Oh well, yeah, I, th I still think of it as a Nick series anyway. True, fair, fair. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Fresh Beat Band of Spies, Sunny Day, uh, Santiago of the Seas, and most recent. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 Abby Hatcher. I forgot. Everyone keeps forgetting about Abby Hatcher. I mean, come on. Oh, that too. Uh, and as of currently, we have a couple ones. Of course, Blue's Clues Me will be in one of them, but we also have Baby Shark's Big Show. No worries, guys. Unlike unlike the actual video, which can get on your nerves no, no sometimes. I get you, parents. Uh, the show's actually decent. Oh, yeah, because... You know, because, I mean, sure, of course, there are so many animals, but other than that, it's kind of its own original story, too. Yeah. Because, yes, we've heard the song a billion times, and yes, it gets on our nerves. But, the shark has a family, and a friend, and a whole undersea community. And Bet you didn't know that, and that's exactly what the series brings to the table. And... and same goes for Baby Shark's big movie that just got released on Paramount Plus. And I mean, it's just as good as the show, but well, um, well, if you haven't seen the show, you might get contacts, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have one of, uh, one of Dwight's other favorite recent shows, uh, The Tiny Chef Show. Of course, come on. I mean, the internet sensation turned hit Nick Jr. show with a robot sidekick named Ollie to boot. And it's all in stop motion. Gotta say, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yep, it sure dang well is. Alright, and then in 2023... And gosh dang it, it, and gosh dang it, I hope season two is gonna be the biggest season ever for the show, because they better bring back Ollie. Oh. They need to. She is essential to the show. If she doesn't show up this season, I am going to cry. Aww. All right. Well, then, uh, that branding stayed with us until, uh, well, it's still with us, but it sh uh, the branding took a bit of a shift in 2023. Uh, because Nickelodeon, why it wasn't like the old one, one brought back the splat. Yes, finally, 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 they brought back the old Splatter Maroonio logo that they had lost. Cue it up on the screen, please. There you go. That is our current Nickelodeon branding. And yes, Nick Jr. has this too. The Splat is back, ladies and gentlemen. The Splat is back. Heck, they even show some of the old logos and some of the bumpers for Nick, uh, Nickelodeon. And the and yes the and yes the the like the new commercials for the for the channel too are actually really really funny because there's like one where like someone's finger is going on a roller coaster. No, really, that happens. Is exactly so. It definitely feels like we're right back back in a bit of more of the creative side of Nick. So it's good to see see Nickelodeon embrace that now. Yeah, now, uh, of course, Nick Jr. didn't bring back the iconic. Just for me, me model, but nah, god dang it, 
Dang, dang it, I would die if they just said it. Just once. Just once. If they said it one more time, my childhood would be satisfied. But, yeah, I get it. I get it. But, yeah, so that's the history of Nick Jr. It's gone on a roller coaster of emotions. And I we only went over a, a fraction of Nick Jr.'s whole catalog. Uh, this is the mo and we were mostly talking about the shows that Nickelodeon made themselves. So, we're not even getting started with the original programming. Mm -hmm. uh, and the many aquatic shows on the series. Seriously. Seriously, there's a whole list. A lot of these actually do fit the Nick Jr. branding, though. Like, the Rubber Dubbers, that's an aquatic show. But it fits in with Nickelodeon, because it's weird, oh, weird talking animals, stuffed animal thingies. Yeah, that doesn't seem too out of place on Nick. Oh, uh, yeah, I really remember Rubber Dubbers. Um, and then another... Ex I mean, uh, well, I mean, and you know they live in a bathtub, right? Right, of course. <laughs> Uh, and they've even had a couple iconic series glaze their play ways. Uh, uh, books aside, they also had the iconic Thomas and Friends at a time. Oh, yeah. And Dr. Seuss also glazed the platform once upon a time as well. Oh, wait, wait, you mean the wobbly world of Dr. Seuss? Ding, 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 ding! Oh my god, the season two theme song was good I mean I mean it was good but hey the season 2 theme song was a freaking bop like right when the cat had a pop out of his little head and go hello I knew I was in for a good time <laughs> yep yep definitely but probably uh, probably the latest series to grace the aquatic list would be uh well, I guess this isn't going to be too big of a shocker to anybody who's been a long-time Nick Jr. fan, but Gabby's Dollhouse, which, by the way, uh, is co-created by Terry Page Johnson. Yes, the voice of iconic... Bo -bo -bo -bo. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, so the history of Nick Jr. is interesting. But now it's time to talk about some of our favorite memories involving the, uh, the show. Uh, uh, involving the network. And uh, I think I'm going to only name a couple. But I'll let Dwight start first. So, what are some of your favorite memories you remember of Nick Jr., dude? Oh my gosh. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, for what I can remember... I remember one time watching the Diego episode with the humpback whale. And I was eating some, like, Carvel ice cream cake. Ah, I see. I mean, like, I was only, like, about, like, I think five or six at the time, so I don't really remember it that vividly, but hey, but hey, I was, I was, I was in the zone oh. and watching that humpback whale while eating an ice cream cake. Ba baby, uh, pretty, uh, young Joy was living it up. Yeah, I was having a time out of life back then, even if I didn't know what the heck was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue what was going on in the show, but I didn't care. I was watching it and eating some ice cream. Hey, what? Hey, at a kid, at that age, that's the best you can get, really. <laughs> uh, but uh, some of my memories actually, I, I was actually there for a majority of when most of the uh, TV specials aired. Yeah, so I was there for pretty much when uh, the whole whole uh, a great dinosaur rescue thing happened. I was there when all the door specials happened. Happened. Heck, I was there for the 10 year anniversary for Blue's Clues. Although that was probably pretty apparent. Uh, so I lived through pretty much the whole of the 2000s, 2000s in terms of Nick Jr. in terms of their specials and stuff. And boy, was it a completely different beast. Beast. They really went all out on the marketing with some of the stuff. Oh, mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty. It was a pretty interesting time to be a kid. Kid, I will say that. So one of my favorite things that I do remember is staying up until midnight, uh, late, late in the night to watch uh, the Legend of the Blue Puppy, and then I also remember. 
Nemo clearly and vividly. Uh, also staying up for the uh, Meat Blues Baby Blender special. And then I remember also being there for, well, 2000s kids will remember this more than anybody else. But uh, prior to Joe actually being on the show, they had Joe's Scrapbook Journey. You mean just Joe's Scrapbook? Uh, oh. Uh, well, actually, it was kind of a two-in-one. Uh, Joe's Scrapbook Journey was actually a Flash game on NickJr.com. No. Oh. Uh, no. The old NickJr.com, please. Oh, I, I still know, I still know, but oh. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, every day we got closer to, uh, the actual, you know, Joe, meet Joe special. Uh, we actually got to see where Joe is. We tried to get... Uh, we got to see like a glimpse of where he is, and he was traveling across the world to get to the Blues Goose house. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. I was so excited back then. I've been between, uh, watching all that, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Of course, back, of course, back then I had was a pretty much a kid, so <laughs> that was my game back then. Uh, I didn't really understand it, but I really loved it, so hey, I, that's what mattered. Uh, also, Nick Jr.'s site, site back then was ten times better than it is now, just saying. Yeah, but wait, but you stayed up to see those specials? Yeah, I was a kid of a different breed. I would not go to bed until the special was over. Wait, but why, why did you stay up? Well, what, they were really, they were, what, were they like prime time premieres? Oh, of course, of course. And at the time, they were, it seemed like big deals to me. Of course, I know, know they weren't, weren't really, since they were really just double length episodes. But I felt like that, felt like staying up, so. Huh. Yeah, it, memories of this now, uh, uh, memories of the network is, is something. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Speaking of which, what your memories of Nick Jr. are? Are, are what are you? What if you've grown up with the network? Network, or even if you're sharing, even for the parents, parents, let me know what you're doing to share your love of Nick Jr. or the shows they've watched. Even if that includes the 15 times you've had to watch the Paw Patrol, even though you've gotten tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel so bad. Uh, but yeah. Alright, dude. It's time to finally talk about... June. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. I forgot to tell you about one more little, uh, Nate Jr. memory of mine. Oh, okay, dude. Uh, oh, Julia 2. Oh, go ahead, dude. Go ahead. Hold on for a second. Let me just go through memory lane over here. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm... Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Alright. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, I actually got two. So, what are your two memories? Oh, easy. Um, one was when Noggin turned into Nick Jr. Yeah, in case you didn't know, the the Nick Jr. channel we had at now, that used to be N O G G I N Noggin. I mean, yeah, but then they announced, of course, through a video with Moose and Z in it, that Noggin would be would now be turning into Nick Jr. Yes, so Nick Jr. would have its own full-on channel, channel instead of just one pull me block block on the Nick channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, like, it, finally, Nick Jr. has a channel, yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a big, big turning point. Of course, Moose and Z would stick around, around so I'm glad they didn't fall all of it n knocking out the window. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, but... Which actually kind of leads into my second memory. Ah. 
be, because I um because a little later I saw a commercial for on, when I was watching Nickelodeon one day I saw a commercial for the Noggin app. Yes, for those who don't know, Noggin is still very much a part of the Nick plan today. They, they, the Noggin app is basically the equivalent, equivalent of being able to uh, subscribe, subscribe, and have interactive games and books, books and shows, shows. Yes, an awful episodes of that app, app of your favorite Nick Jr. pals. Uh huh. Yep. 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 And Chris commercial had Moose and Z on a bus with all the different characters. And yes, it, and yes, Moose saying Moose rap, and I know the whole rap by heart. Huh. All right, Mister Challenge, Challenge. If you know yep. the whole rap by heart, sing it. Okay. I shall. And we gotta do my Moose voice. And. Okay, I got this. Okay. Here we go. Would you like to meet some new friends today? Plus, plus today, plus a couple of so friends along the way. So join this bright blue birdie. And a moose that's kind of wordy. We come over for Tanaga to play. Have a play date with the puppy named Blue. Backyard gets and other friends too. We certainly can't wait to meet you when you come over to Tanaga to play. Like boom, like that's a pop. Dang. Hey, that that was that was beautiful. That moose moose really knows. Hi, hi, yeah. Hi, no. That that, that moose has a way with words. Exactly. That's why I liked all the different moose and Z things, like the don't like candy corn one. And then the other uh, candy cane one. Yeah, those were pretty interesting, to say the least. But yeah, Moose and Z. And like the, dang, like the end of the candy cane one, though, I recently rewatched it. It was so dang funny. Like he wanted a candy cane for Christmas, and then he finally opened his present from Z, and then it was, of course, it was a pair of socks. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, but but then but then the big twist at the end was when Z had a present for him outside, and it was a gigantic KK, and then Moose went, "You actually bought me a candy cane, you big faker!" Like, come on. <laughs> okay, that that's pretty interesting. Like, hey, hey, come on. Like, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that either, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I, now I now wonder, like, did she give Moose and Z a whole series? <sighs> I wish, man, I wish. But Nicola- I mean, come on, they're, they're perfect for a series. I mean, they were like the best mascots I ever remember of Nick Jr. Well, let's hope Nickelodeon eventually does it. Keyword eventually. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But if I know modern Nickelodeon, they're just gonna go the whole CGI route. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, that would be a little uncanny. <laughs> uh, that would be a little uncanny. But I mean, hey, but, I mean, hey. I mean, of course, Nick is still doing 2D stuff too, like rock, paper, scissors, for example. Exactly. So yeah, I mean, I it's would. February, which is coming out February 12th, by the way, but they, and now we're going to be having a little sneak peek. Indeed. Too. I mean, actually, full episodes, a few, a few full episodes of Rock Paper Scissors, as well as clips of the show, are available on YouTube as well. And I gotta say, the show looks crazy awesome so far. Looking to be a pretty interesting show. Please support it, guys. Please, I'm begging. <laughs> uh, mm. Come on, they got Ron Funches, who plays Cooper in Trolls. I mean, all the Trolls movies, actually. As um, as Rock and Carlos Alas Rocky, the voice of Mr. Crocker, and Rocco from Rock Was My Life, as um, as um, Scissors, and this new guy being named Thomas Lennon to play Paper. 
Well, all I gotta say is, say is, they all se seem to be having a good time of their life with this one. Heck yes, I mean, the whole show in general is, is, is just a whole bunch of fun. You're like, you never know what to like, expect. Heck, even the pilot has them watch, has just, has them watching TV. But then apparently, but then apparently they don't know what to go to watch. And then, there's, and there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens out of it, like a shark voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson that comes in and wants to watch a reality show. And then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, they're going to Broadway and, and they accidentally like do like a big pirate show that they made up and it's like really really threatening with the audience seems to love it yeah yeah it's just so much fun sounds like it all right well all right then well dude 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 Ooh, those are some pretty good memories now it's time to talk about yeah, well, so, uh, well, I'll let Dwight talk about it. Okay, so yeah, my top secret project, right? You guys know it, right? It's, it's you know, it's uh, on the Juniorverse side of things of the Blue Universe project, and it has all your favorite Nick Junior characters in it, and it's mostly inspired by HBO Max's Jellystone, and stuff. Indeed. And things. Indeed. And it's called... Juniorville. Surprise! Yes. Juniorville. Bill. What? What? You guys will expect actually to be, uh, be, be juniors or something? <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. Although the... Although there is an idea, although there is an idea for um, uh, an, uh, an uh, R-rated kind of Nick Fury movie, I'm planning for the Juniorverse as well, called Juniors. But we'll get to it. But we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Indeed. Uh, but let's talk about Junior uh, Junior Bell, the premise, and what this adventure is about. Actually, it's a whole series. Oh right. Uh, sorry. Make that whole series is about. So it takes a very similar premise to, uh, in some ways, parallel to Toy Story. Story to make a comparison. Uh, it's basically well, yeah, but well, Junior kind of like a sequel to this Wattpad fan which I'm making called the Nick Junior movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, Juniorville exists. As like in this in this series series as like this hub room where all the Nick Jr. characters characters from what I understand mm. stand it uh, this is where they hang out when they're not doing their shows. Mm -hmm. So AKA when they're not doing new episodes for us, they're here. Yep. Uh, and honestly. That's that's pretty cool. Really? Yeah, I really like that idea. Yeah, I always wonder what what, what some of my favorite characters were doing when they're not, you know, no, uh, rolling around, uh, uh, when they're not, uh, you know, entertaining us or in this case the kids, kids. So that's a very interesting, interesting take on that. Uh, but, but it's not just just Juniorville itself. Several of the wo worlds that we all know, such as like Bubble Guppies or Storybooks, Storybook World, they're all connected to Juniorville. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least that's from what I understand it. Oh, yeah, but like, well, in the Nick Junior movie, well, this... Well, the story is, well, kind of mostly about probing, but also, a, but also rather about Dima, Shine, Marshall, and Abby Hatcher. Yeah, so mixed ma mash of uh, Nickelodeon history there. It was like kind of like old and new a little bit. 
indeed, indeed. So, uh, so in this, uh, and uh, uh, they formed this group called the Nick Jr. Squad. Well, not really school. I mean, it's just a you know a group of friends. Yeah, yeah, uh, and basically, you know, so they hang out and help around Juniorville as much as they can. Okay. So it's a really, really, really cool way. Hey, now you're probably wondering, wondering what several of the character character actors do. Uh, how do these characters fit into Juniorville when they're not, you know, making their shows? I think Joe, I can give a couple examples of some places in Juniorville. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because well, because well. Um, in junior role, like, there's, like, you know, all sorts of different places. You know, there's, wait, um, let me see here. Let me see. Oh, yeah. There's, of course, the Junior Squads Clubhouse. There's a Mick Junior Square, which is, like, the town square. And then Millie and Fufo run, like, the flower shop in Juniorville. And Tiny Chef and Ollie have a, have a restaurant called Thai Chef's Bitty Bites. There's, a uh, ooh, there, Doran Diego run up Explorer Rescue HQ. Um, there's the Juniorville Highway, where, you know, cars go as they please and stuff. But then there's even, there's, there's even a bunch of mishmashes of different Nick Jr. and, uh, Nickelodeon worlds as well. Not, uh, not of, uh, not, mm, not of the mature variety of Nicktoons, of course, of course, but of the more marketable, kid-friendly side of Nicktoons. Yeah, we got Amy City. We got the, we got um the Paw Patrol's Lookout HQ. We got um, wait, did I say Umi City already? Yeah. Okay. We got, um, oh, Adventure City from the Paw Patrol movie, Foggy Bottom. Yeah, we see seeing Foggy Bottom and all its glory over here. Uh, we got Seussville. Of course, where the Cat and the Hat and the Little Rats and Sailing Amp and Blunt and Guy and Mai and all their Dr. Seuss friends live. Uh, the Hatcher Hotel, you know, home of Abby Hatcher and her fuzzly friends. Sam May Falls, where Shimmer and Shine live. Bubble Tucky, where the Bubble Gummies hang out. Bikini Bottom, of course, home to SpongeBob and his pals. Uh, Royal Woods, Miss Chigit, of course, where the Louds hang out. Uh, Dimsdale. You know, the OG Dimsdale. As well as a, as well as a little bit of Dimsdale from my fan version of the Fair Lot Parents. Fair Lot Parents, what's for thinking? Which is also on my wall bag. Um, Dinadelphia from the Fairly Odd Parents uh, reboot, Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish. And then, like, two versions of Fairy World. One for the original Fairly Odd Parents, as well as from Wishful Thinking. And a version of Fairy World from Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish, as well as my Fairly Odd Parents spinoff on my pad, um, Fairly Odd Parents, Magical Mayhem. Yeah, lots of different, uh, lots of different mishmashes there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Gabriel's in there too. Of course. <laughs> uh, but you're probably, uh, but you uh, but you're probably wondering, wondering what. Oh, oh, wait, 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 and there's even a robot kind of part of town called Sprockopolis. I'm assuming what that's where most of the robots of all the Nick Junior, uh, Nick Junior characters uh, hang out. Yep, as many as well as some original robot characters we'll find we'll see in Juniorville too. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and there we have Bot and Plex's fix up shop. Ooh. Um, there's Nuts and Bolt Hub. There the Sprockopolis is kinda of Times Square area. There's the Sprockton train station and the Gluckenspiel subway. Yeah. So definitely sounds like a uh, uh, definitely sounds like a uh, a place that's put, uh, built together pretty well. <laughs> yep. Uh, and yes, 
Uh, 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 oh yes, nut nut and bolt hub. It actually is a pun because I I um I put I made nut and bolt. I just decided to divide like one big word instead of nuts and bolts, so I made it so I made it like just like mutton but with an N and to add bolt to the end. So it's nuts and bolts. <laughs> Nice, dude. Nice. Uh, and of course, I thought Glockenspiel Subway, you know, I still have no idea what a Glockenspiel is. I think it's like a robotic instrument of some sort. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, as you can see, Juniorville is full of wacky and wonderful places. Places. But you're probably wondering how the series is structured compared to uh, our previously, previously and now revealed, Blues Played It With You. Yeah, um, oh yeah, so, um, well, well, the Juniorville series, of course, it's set up like, it's really hard to tell, but it's just about all your favorite Juniorville you know, characters finally, like, you know, interacting with each other and just having a lot of fun. That's the whole basis of this show. Indeed, indeed, indeed. And I'm pretty sure every single episode will focus on a different character. Character, and of course, you know, some of the underrated characters will even get a spotlight. Oh yeah, but I mean, well, I might not focus on just one character. I might focus on. I mean, I might focus on two or three or even a bunch. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yeah, this se- uh, this series is going to be very interesting to see. But Junior Bell is of course, uh, Junior Bell is of course, co- uh, uh, a big part, big part of the Nick Junior movie, movie. Which, Dwight, jo- uh, I know you're still working on it, but could you give it like a bit of a background premise about that one? Mm, premise? Uh, oh, 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 I'll, oh, I'll do you one better. Hold on. How, how about? Oh. How about a little uh, sneak peek of the next movie? Ooh, ooh, a sneak peek? Eek, even better. Really? Yeah. Oh. On there. On there. Okay. Oh. Okay. So. Well, how do I put this? You know when your favorite show always, always, you know, has to end? Yo! Hi, hello. It's almost time to go. Aww. But first, let's go back and remember what we did today. Yeah. Can you help me? Yeah. Can we dance? Yeah. Let's do it. I'll break it down. Well, um, well, that feeling, the feeling, you know, it really, um, never goes away. I mean, not for us. I mean, because we're always sad it's time to go, but we know we'll always be back for our fans. You know, the little ones, the kids who watch us, you know. And then that time comes, you know, when, when it is time to go. And we get me and my friends, at least for our show. You know, me and my friends, we could put back one in the, mo- in the boom box. Wow, that was so much fun. Thanks for playing with us today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Here we go. Yo, Gabba Gabba! But, well, when I put back, when I get put back, I always still have a happy smile on my face. Hey, great job out there, Broby. Aw, aw, thanks, Fufa. Oh, boy. My favorite part of the day. <laughs> oh, boy, boy, oh, boy. Ha, 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 ha.
bro, we, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing, Fufa. I'm, I'm fine. It's just, it's just so excited. Wait, 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 when's it gonna, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, 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 what's gonna happen? Oh boy. Yeah, that's me. My name is Broby. Ding! Broby, the little green one from Yo Gabba Gabba. Yeah, that's me. And um, I always get so excited because after our show it end, and cut. Good job, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Lance, you good? Yeah, I'm. I'm doing fine. I'm perfect. Okay. Oh boy! Yeah, there is a feeling to why Lance is it's is why my friend DJ Lance is excited because, well, all right, guys. Whoa! You guys, ready? Yeah! Here we go! Whoa, boy! Yes, I've been waiting for this the whole day. <laughs> um, does anyone know why Broby's so excited? Uh, well, it's because, um, well, I got to hang out with my other friends now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, come on, everyone. Let's go. Wee! Oh, right. I keep forgetting. DJ Lance can fly. So there's that. Come on, guys. Yeah. Woohoo. Broby, you coming? Oh, I'm calling Fufa. Just, just give me a moment. Yeah, I know. It may seem weird. When a show ends, end, you, it will usually go to the next thing. But for us, it's not like that. Because once your shows end, that's where the real fun begins. Here I go! Woohoo! Whoa! Yeah! Woohoo! Paramount Animation presents a Nickelodeon production. The Nick Jr. movie! Yeah! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> <laughs> Hello, Juniorville! Oh boy! <laughs> Woo! Yes! I can't believe it! Uh, well, see you later, guys! Bye, GJ Lands! Well, um, well, time for us to go, Broby! Bye! I'm gonna have to help Millie with their flower garden! Oh, oh! I have to, I have to join Geo for our rock session! Bye, Fufa. Bye, Muno. <laughs> uh, Tootie, I... I know I got... I know you... Got... Somewhere to... Be, right? Oh! Oh, right, yeah! I think I have to help Plux... I think I have to help, um... Bro Bot with his weather machine. See you later, guys! <laughs> Bye! Bye, Tootie! Plex, 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 you, 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 you're so, you're saying right, right? Um, look, I'm sorry, Broby, but I can't play with you right now. Why not? Oh, right, I have to go over to Sprockopolis. Uh, they need me to fix something really important. See you later, Broby. Okay. Bye, Plex. <sighs> So, yeah, all my friends get to do other cool things, but not me. Or at least, uh, not me, I mean, well, like, how do I put this? How do I put this? Well, I kind of used to not really do anything, because my friends would be off doing really cool stuff. But except for me, you know, because I didn't have what everyone called their thing. You see, in Juniorville, it's where us, your Nick Jr. friends, live, you know? And then there's me, Broby. Yeah. But usually I'd just be walking around, looking at all my different Nick Jr. friends, 
trying to find my own, well, my own thing. I mean, of course, DJ Lance had his DJing job. Yeah! You know, that sort of thing. But as for, um, me, I didn't find that interesting. I didn't have a thing, you know? And then, who else? Oh, there would be Dora. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, hey, Dora! Hey, Roby! Woohoo! You up for exploring? Woo! Uh, um, uh, well, it's okay. It's fine if you don't want to. No, 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 I, 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 uh, no, I am. Look, Dora, I, I, you know, I am always up for exploring, but maybe not today. Well, it's okay. See you later, Broby. Okay. Bye, Dora. <sighs> All alone again. So yeah, DJ Lance would do his job, Dora would explore, but I still want to have my own thing. I mean, I was looking everywhere, and all my friends had their thing. Wally would be making new words, B-O-A-T, boat! Woohoo! Hey, brubs! Hey, Wally! <sighs> and Face would be, of course, having a music party. Yeah, let that beat pump! Oh, hey, broby! Hey, face. Huh. And who else? Who else? Oh, the Paw Patrol, of course, we roll. We, we all, you know, we'll be racing on by. Paw Patrol is on a roll. Whoa. Woohoo. Hey, Roby. Whoa. Hey, Sky. <sighs> but, well, even if, even if, even though we, everyone, Junior Bill was all friends with each other, well, for me, my best friend, at least before I found my my thing, was Blue. Of course she would be looking for clues. So, I mean, guess of course she would. <laughs> okay, uh, where can I put a clue? Where can I put a clue? Where can I put a... Oh! I think I got it! Bam! Woohoo! <sighs> Yeah, of course you will put a clue. Huh. La 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 la. Oh. Still trying to look for my thing. <sighs> okay, where could that next clue be? Uh! Ow! Huh? Broby, are you okay? Oh, oh! Hi, Josh. Oh, hey, Broby. Um, you haven't seen Blue anywhere, haven't you? Oh, uh, I think she went that way. Maybe? Oh, well, thanks. See you later, Broby. Okay, bye, Josh. <sighs> so, yeah. It was just me looking for my thing. But, well, the problem was... I didn't have a thing. Everyone else did. And Blues was looking for clues. And even if I tried, well, I guess the looking for clues thing was already taken anyway. By her and Josh, I mean. But one day, when I was looking for my thing, in came someone I never would have expected. Where can I put in our clue? Ah! I think I found it! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bam! Whoa! Uh. Huh? Blue? Oh! Hi, Broby! Hi, Blue. Oh, uh... Oh, you got something on here? Oh. Oh, oh, man. Am I a clue? No, I don't think you are a clue. But I mean, there's a popper on me. There's, there's a handprint. I mean, get get off! Oh, oh, don't worry, I, I got it. Oh, thanks, Blue. You're welcome, Broby. Ugh. So, um, what are you doing here? Why don't you go play with your friends? Well, yeah, but well, the problem is, Blue. I guess, I mean, as much as all of us do know each other and all, since we're all friends here, 
I what? I don't really have friends. You don't? No, oh, I, I don't. <sighs> That's not even the worst part. The worst part is everyone here in Juniorville has a thing. A thing, huh? Yeah, 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 everyone does. Like, I mean, I mean, it's Team Umizumi, they, I mean, Millie really has a flower garden, and Geo does rock music, and Bot, Bot makes inventions, and you, you, and, and Josh, you, you guys solve clues, and it, it's all so much fun, and I don't have anything to, to do here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can always have a party in my tummy, but, you know, uh, so yummy, so yummy. But, well, I've always wanted to find my own thing to do. And yet, I don't have a thing to do, you know? <sighs> I'll never find my own thing, Blue. It's okay, Broby, you know what? What? I can be your friend. Really? You can? Yeah. And I can help you find your thing. <gasps> you you can help me find my thing? Yeah. <sighs> Let me guess. It's it's you're gonna maybe play a game of blues clues to figure it out, right? No, not exactly. We we'll just have to find your thing together. Together? Yeah. Blue, where are you? Oh, Raj, I played this game of Blue's Clues with Josh first. See you later. Okay. See you, Blue. I can't believe it. Blue's really gonna help me find my thing. Ah! I'm so excited. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, oh man. Wait for me, Blue. And ever since then, Blue, after every game of Blue's Clues, she'd help me find my thing. Oh boy. Okay, so, so, Roby, what's life usually like for you? I mean, after your show, I mean. Well, after my show, my, I would say goodbye to my friends, and then I would just walk around Juryville looking for my thing. But nothing would happen, so I'd just go to my house and sleep all the rest of the night. Just, I mean, after I made myself a nice healthy dinner, of course. And I would just, just stare at the ceiling, wide awake, on my bed, just chilling. I will just wonder, what is my thing? What is my purpose? How am I here? What do I supposed to do after my show ends for the day? That's what I usually do. What you need is some friends. And I'm your friend. Yeah, but who else would be my friend? And so, it happened. Me and Blue looked everywhere to make a squad. But not just any squad. A junior squad. We searched high. We searched low. Until one day. Blue, I think I know who'd be perfect for our group. Who? Dima. Right in there. In Babataki, of course. Hold on, I'll go get her. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! And so I dove straight into Babataki. And there she was. Mm -hmm. Picking some flowers. Oh, hey, Dima. Hey, Brophy. What is it? Oh, well, Dima, how would you like to be a best friend? Really? I'd love to, Broby. Aw, Dima. Oh, oh, and also, I was wondering if maybe, ooh, you can be the first member of my squad. What squad? The junior squad. Oh, you want me to be in a friend group with, with you? Yeah, me and Blue are making one right now. So, you in? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely in. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Blue, meet Dima. Dima, meet Blue. Oh, nice to meet you, Dima. The pleasure's all mine, Blue. Ooh. <laughs> I've always loved to make people laugh. 
And she still does, Blue. So, Blue, who is worth thinking of that to our little friend group? Ooh, I think I know. Ah, uh, boy, Adventure Bay! I've always wanted to visit Adventure Bay! It's so colorful and amazing and... <gasps> the lookout! Oh, I think I know what we get, who we get for this group. I think I know. I very much know. <laughs> Paw Patrol, to look out! Ryder needs us! <laughs> Woo, yeah! All right. Come on, Marshall. Oh, I'm coming, guys. And this time, nothing will stop me from getting to elevator. Nothing will stop. Hey, hey bro, uh, Marshall. Whoa. Wait, who are you guys? You... You don't know us, Marshall? Oh, right. You're my friends from Juniorville. Hey, Roby. Hey, Dima. Hey, Blue. Oh, hey, Marshall. Oh, Marshall. We're gonna need you for something. For what? A friend group. A friend group? Yep, I like to call it the Junior Squad. And so far, Dean and Blue have already joined. So we were wondering if maybe you could join too. Oh, oh, yes! I'd love to! But, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. If you're joining your squad, Who's going to join us on our missions then? Oh, it's fine, guys. I, look, look, I don't think this mission will need me at all. You sure? You sure, Marshall? I am sure, Chase. Just let me have this for a little while. Mm, okay, I'll allow it. Yes! I'm part of your squad, babies! woo See you guys later. woo -hoo. All right, we got some of our squad. But who should we pick next? Ooh, I got an idea. No, no, let Marshall do it. I think I know. Hey, that's what I said. Of course you said that, but we said that a few minutes ago. Okay, did you get it? Yep. All right, thanks, dude. Uh, uh thanks, dude. All right. Oh, no problem. Okay. Now, going back into podcast mode in three, two, one. Whoa. So, what the, what'd you guys think? I mean, it's crazy, right? Broby is going to actually try to find his thing. Indeed, indeed. That is interesting, dude. Oh, yeah, of course. And, um... And soon enough, what happens next is that uh, Broby has this strange dream about him and his friends fighting against this evil, like, pixely monster called the Glitch. Glitch. The Glitch? Oh, boy. Yep, and wants to tear Junior, the whole Junior. The whole town of Juneville apart. Ooh, this sounds serious. Yep. Well, all I gotta say is that sounds pretty cool, dude. Dude. Oh, oh thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. But yeah, the Nick Jr. movie will serve as the promise, promise for the Juniorville series. Series, which it takes place after the events of the movie. Oh, uh, yep. So yeah, now you're probably wondering, how does all of this tie into the Blue Universe project? Well... Well, uh, and Blue's playing it with you. Sometimes some characters from Juniorville will show up. Or sometimes they'll actually schedule it into Juniorville. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So you could say there will be a crossover of so, so, uh, sorts. Sometimes the characters will join us on, on Blue's ventures, ventures. Other times, we might actually go over there ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
pretty interesting to say the least. Again, we'll talk more about this when we get get to season two. But uh, it 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 uh, I gotta say some of the craziest stuff. Uh, is ring 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 ring. Uh, uh dude, is that your phone? Yeah, it is my phone. Uh, I wonder who it could. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hmm? Who is it? Uh, dude, look. Okay, I got a hat icon, and 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 and, and oh my gosh, I got like a green. Fuzzy stripey icon too. Huh. I wonder wonder who those two could be. Be Oh uh, and, and wait wait and look at yours dude, look. Hmm. It has of course of course it has like a blue genie bottle. And oh but also it has like a bunch of like orange curly hair and a bubble. Hmm. Who we think would be calling us? Hmm. Those are all very good uh, clues there, dude. I'm not sure who it could be. B. B. Well, I get. Guess we better. Uh, guess we better answer and see who it is. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> hello. Oh, why hello? Oh, oh I know. Hi. Oh, I know that voice anyway. That's the cat in the hat. Yes, hello, it is me again. Oh, I'm so glad to be back with you guys. And I brought along a little friend. Hi, guys. Broly. Ah, Broly's here. Oh, my gosh, this is awesome. Ah, ah, I see, I see. Uh, what do you want to do? What, who do you have on your end? Let me take a look. Hello, this is Music Clues. Who's speaking? Uh, hello, MC. Oh, Shine! <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting you to call. Oh, <laughs> good to see you. You. Uh, and I got another friend. Friend with me, too. Uh, hello? Abby? As an Abby Hatcher? Wait, no, 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 no. No, hold on. Wait. Wait. But hold on, wait, wait. But dude, the second image had orange curly hair and a bubble on it. Hmm. Orange curly hair and a bubble on it. I wonder who it could be. Hmm. Well, go ahead, dude. Click it, click it, click it. Hello, who is it? Uh, dude, who is it? Uh, dude, no, you're, you're supposed to be Dima. Oh, right. Sorry, you didn't get the hint. <clears throat> oh, uh, he hello. Uh, hello? Oh, Dima! <laughs> Sorry, but I thought you were somebody else. Hey, D hey Dima! Oh. Oh, hey, Ada, Dwight, hey there, MC. Uh, what are you guys doing? Well, right now... God, God, God damn, I'm the best boy in the whole wide world. <laughs> hey there, baby. Oh, wait, and you know what? Oh, 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 what the heck? Let's just put the whole junior squad in here. Come on in, and come on in, Marshall and Abby. Boop, boop. <laughs> uh, you, you can be March. You can be. Hmm, wait. Um. Yeah, you can be March on Abby. I know it's gonna be a, it's a lot of characters deep, but I hope you can handle it. I got this. <clears throat> uh, hello. Is this thing on? On. Oh. Uh, oh. Hey, Marshall. Marshall. Hey there. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Oh. You, oh, man. Uh, I, 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 hope, I do hope he's okay. You okay, Marshall? Uh, I'm good. 
<laughs> Silly pop. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, wait, I, oh, I, th I think I have one more friend on my side. Oh, and the image is, ooh, it's these pink glasses and some sort of glove. Hmm, what's he going to be? Yellow. He hello. Oh, this is Abby Hatcher. Abby, hi. Oh, oh, Dwight, is that you? Yep, and I brought along some few friends. Hello, Abby. Oh, hey, Cat. Hey, hey, Booby and Clue. Ooh, it's good to see you all. Uh, what are you... Uh, but why are we over the phone? Oh, right now you guys are on the Pop Points Preschool and pa Pals podcast. Uh, and we're talking all about Juniorville, as well as the Nick Jr. movie. Oh. I know, it's been a, it's been a long podcast episode. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we have time to answer some questions then. If you, if we're not interrupting anything. Oh, no, 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 not at all, guys, not at all. Oh, oh yes, I do love answering questions. Well, yeah, well, count me in. I mean, as long as I get to be with my bestest bud in the whole wide world. Uh, who would that be? Uh, that, uh, that'd be Dima. Oh. Oh, right, me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let me see. Oh, looks like we have a question from yours truly. Someone asked us, yes. Hey, that's me. Okay, okay. This one is for Broby and Gia. So, so, I was just wondering, how did you guys meet anyway? Oh, yeah. So it was kind of a long story, but to keep it short, I was still trying to find my thing one day, and then I saw this puddle on the ground, and I jumped, and I just, I tried just jumping over it, but then I totally slipped, I went into it, and I found Bubba Tucky, and then I met Dima. Oh, wow, probably that, that's really it? Oh, yeah, there's a lot more than that, right, Dima? Oh, yeah, total, totally, you'll see it see it all later L later if you guys watch the ju yeah uh, read about the junior movie <laughs> of course uh, but I uh, but I will say say yeah. that you could say that Bobby Bobby slipped into the uh, friendship <laughs> oh. oh yeah <laughs> uh, all right let's see Oh, a question for the cat. Ooh, break it on, um, lovers, oh. um, whoever sent it in. All right, this is from Hat Cat Lover. Hat Cat hmm. Lover? Huh. Oh, Hat Cat Lover, huh. I bet he's my kind of user. <laughs> so what's the question? <laughs> All right, it says here, cat. What is your favorite hat? Favorite hat? Oh, there's just so many. You see, Ned the fish, and and uh, Miss Thing and Thingly P. You know, Thing One, Thing Two. Well, um, they, uh, you know, they, you know, they give me so many hat ideas. But um, if I had to choose one, come on, it'd be this one right here, the original. Oh. I mean, come on, it can be used for almost anything. I mean, come on, it could be a record player, it could be a helicopter, it could be a DJ booth. It could be anything I imagine it to be. Hey, imagination imagination is what you're all about, cat. <laughs> and yes, anything can be inside it. Let me see it. Oh. oh, okay. Ooh, I think we got some ribs in here. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm good, good. What about you, Dwight? Uh, he said ribbons. He's doing a magic trick, dude. Oh, I thought he said ribs. Sorry. Yeah, ribbons. See? 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 
Hey, a bologna sandwich. How did this get in here? <laughs> oh, cat. Oh, that's our cat. Oh, here's a question question for Bobby himself. Ooh, okay, I'm ready. All right, he says, Bobby, are you excited to hang out with your Gabba gang again in the reboot? Oh, yes, yes, I have missed Moon and Fufa and Bobby and Tootie and but Oh, wait, no, Bobby's me, sorry. I missed Moon and Fufa and Bobby. Oh, dang it. Moon and Fufa, Tootie. And plus, whew, God, because broke me for a long time, and I'm so glad we're coming back. Um, but the only one missing, of course, is DJ Lance, but I don't know why he didn't sign on to be in Yo Gabba Cabalan. I don't know why. I, I do kind of miss him, but I do remember meeting back up with him at last year's Comic Con. Oh, oh, really? What happened? You know, we met up, we chatted, we took photos of a bunch of fans. Oh. You know, the huge. Oh, that sound, sounds like you had a blast there. Yeah, but at the same time, I kind of feel a little sad DJ Lane's not going to be in the reboot. But it's okay, because, hey, he's out doing his own thing over in Holiday Hills, and, well, I guess I'm going to be doing my own thing at Gatlin with my friends. And it's not, it's not like you two aren't friends anymore. Oh, still are. We still are, you know. DJ Lane's always checked on me and the gang every now and again. I don't, I don't doubt it. <laughs> you two, you guys were together for a very long time. Oh, yeah, but it's just that this new reboot's kind of going to be shifting focus a lot. Yeah. Well... Oh, I wish you the good, uh, best of luck. Hopefully we get to see, uh, hopefully we get to see you guys and your new, new series very soon. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna be coming this year on Apple TV Plus. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, All right. and, oh, and luckily, and, oh, and luckily, speaking of Apple TV Plus, bro, we have one of our guys description, so I am going to see your show on day one. Mark my words. <laughs> uh, thanks, Dwight. Oh, no problem, Rhodes. Uh, I I had no doubt doubt on that. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, ooh, we have a question for the whole Nick Jr. squad. Oh boy, get ready, people. This is gonna be huge. All right, to the whole Junior squad. What? Okay, so this one. Ooh, this one's for Junior Fan Twenty Four. Ah, oh, nice name. And, oh, it says, so, 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 what's it really like being, well, the junior squad? Is it, isn't it crazy, isn't it crazy that, um, isn't it crazy that a monster, um, that a monster, a mermaid, a genie, a puppy, a fuzzly catcher, and a cat, and a cat are really going to be the star, are really going to be stars now? You guys act like that. Uh, uh, you guys act. Uh, first of all, oh, you say that like Nickelodeon's old mascot, Ascot isn't a talking sponge for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and two, and two. Yeah, I know. I get it. I, yeah, I know. I get it. I'm almost creating a monster. I mean, not really a uh, like scary monster. No. No, 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 no. But still a monster. Uh, but that being said, said, I think, I think it's, it, it's an interesting group, group. A lot of us come from the more modern side of Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon rather than the classics, so we don't really have have that much experience compared to some of the long people who have been here, here since even the 2000s. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so many different different people have been uh been, been a part of Nick Jr. Junior. It's almost crazy. Oh yes, yeah, so many people. But at the same time, I'm if we didn't have if we hadn't have been together and worked together and put aside our 
and uh, put aside our differences for a time for the, during that time, I don't think I would have had it. I don't think I would have been, been close friends with everybody here today. So, thank Hello? you. Hmm. Uh, wait, what did you say? Uh, so thank you to the whole junior squad. Aww, you're welcome, Abby. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, you're welcome. Oh, oh, here, here's a question for you, Dwight. I, it's, Ooh. it says, uh, so Dwight, uh, I'm curious, is, uh, are there going to be any original characters in this Juniorville series? Ooh. Oh, that's it. That is a really good question. Actually, I'm going to be playing a character in Juniorville. A character in Juniorville? Hmm. Actually, too. Uh, yeah, actually, actually, too. I'm going to be playing me, of course, because I'm going to be in it. I'm so excited. And also, yeah, I'm going to be playing an original character. And his name is Dylan. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put him in the call. Hello, uh, 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 is this thing on? Uh, oh, how do you do? Uh, Dylan, you there? Hold on, hold on, Troy. Uh, how do I? Uh, uh, hold on. Um, hello? 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 Actually, I can't catch. This is this is a podcast, right? Oh, yeah. But, well, um, hello, everybody. Oh, ah, right. hey, Dylan. Hey there, Dylan. It's good to see you. Oh, it's nice to see you too, MC. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, this... yeah, yeah. You may know. Yeah, you may know he looks like me, but but. Um, a lot more animated, and also British. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very apparent on that. Uh, but, but I will say that, uh, uh, Dylan's, uh, Dylan's first of all, well, in terms of the Blue Universe Project, is actually not going to be here in Juniorville, but rather, he's going to play a crucial role in Blue's Big City Adventure, the fan version, when we talk about that later. Well, actually, he uh, Dylan's also gonna be playing a big role in Juneville as well. Oh, of course, of course, of course. I just meant in terms of story order. Yes. Right. But yeah. Uh, that being said, though, so, so a well, lot. Because of in Juniorville, Dylan is the um, is the manager of the Juniorville Theater. Yes. The manager of the Junior Ville, uh, Theater. And as you will talk about in season two, uh, uh, there is an origin story for him. Uh, wait, origin story? Uh, uh, Nick Junior live on stage? Uh, you mean Nick Junior the musical, right? Oh, and yeah. Actually. Well, I'm gonna do I'm not gonna look at the episode is. Um, give me a moment. Yeah, let me see. We actually don't discuss it until, um, actually, yet. Hold on. We don't discuss it until, um, what I, uh, uh, the ninth episode of season two. Got it. So you guys won't hear about, about this until the ninth episode of season two. But there is an interesting way that uh, Dylan here start, uh, became the runner, uh, helped, uh, became the runner of the Junior Veil Theater. It is a good, it is a good reason why. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, there were some technical difficulties. Again. All right. Anyway, yeah. anyways, as I was saying, <clears throat> um, but yeah, 
uh, there's a good reason why uh, Mr. Dylan here is uh, where he is today here in Junior Bell. So I hope you guys look forward to, uh, we look forward to talking about that. Mm -hmm. But the short gist of it is, is that before he became king, uh, before, or he didn't really know how to run a show, a show at all. Oh, yeah. But thanks to all the, all the junior squad showing him how to and telling their own stories, it was it was a very good it was a very cool cool show. I'll just say that. Uh, and eventually, Dylan this uh, Dylan decided to run the feeder from now on. Dude. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay, just making sure. Uh, I'm still here. All right. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just that wait for my headphones to charge. So. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, <clears throat> but um, yeah. Oh. Uh, all right. Well. Oh boy, it's getting time. It's getting close for us to go. Go. I guess we got to let you guys go now. Oh, really? Yeah, do uh yeah, do do we've talked about so much today that day, but yeah, we do have to let you guys go, but thank you all for showing up on the show. Oh, oh it was my pleasure. Yeah. Oh, oh thank oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks for having us. Having us MC and White. Oh, well, I guess we'll see you guys around in Juniorville? Of course. of course. You guys have a good day. Bye. Bye, guys. Boop. Bye. Oh, bye-bye, bu bu everybody. Um, wait, is, is this it? Am I, am I the only one left? Um, really, it, Am, am I still? Am I? Am I really the only one left? I guess so, Cat. Really, they just like that. They're all gone. Mm-hmm. And really, you sure? Sure, it's time to go, cause um. Well, me, well, me and Dwight have to la uh, wrap up the podcast, Cat. So yeah, it's time for you to go. Oh, all right. Well, see you soon. Bye. Bye, cat. See you later. Bye. And I give you a goodbye with the tip of my hat. <laughs> Whoa, is that crazy or what? Right? I I cannot wait to talk more about Junior Bell. But yeah, that's to, uh, that's uh, all for today's podcast, everybody. Buddy, it was so much fun going down memory uh, memory lane with you. Oh yeah, and meeting some of our junior real friends. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, uh, let us know in the comments below again. Let us know in the comments below what you thought thought of having some of our junior real files and what you think of Dwight's junior real series as well as the Nick Junior movie. Movie. Uh, we're, we're very curious to see uh, to know what you guys think. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, but yeah, well, it's about that time, dude. Time for so long. Hold on, hold on a second. Wait, wait. Uh, who's doing it this time? Hmm. You know what? That's a good question, dude. Uh. It's literally because who did it last time? I believe that was me. Really? You sure I had to do it this time? Yep, I'm sure. Um. Um, hold on a second. Wait a minute, I got my headphones. Hold on, hold on. Um,
Dude, you there? Yeah, I'm back on black. Okay. okay. All right, but yeah, it's your turn to uh, it's your turn to close, dude. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, it's still recording. Oh, just, yeah, just take that, just take that part out. Yep. Okay. Let's do this. That time is so long, but I'm gonna sing one more song. This particular part. Show our smart. Show our time. Cause it's me. And our junior little friends too. We can do anything that we want them to do. Okay. So, what you think? Pretty awesome, dude. All right, dude. Dude, well, it's time. Well, oh, it's uh, it's time. Time to go, go, but we will be back with our next episode. So, which will be... Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, uh, the Chouette Show! With music plays. So, yeah. Next episode, Chouette's the host, instead of yours truly. Uh, dude? Dude? Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm, I see, I can still hear you. Dude, you there? Okay, hi. Okay, but yeah, the next episode is... The Joyce Show. Really, dude? Really? Are, are you really sure I can host an episode all by myself? Yeah, I'll be with you, with you, dude. You're just host. You're just gonna be the main host. Really? I'll get to actually be like the main host. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. For a whole episode, you get to be the main host. Okay, this may be. Okay, this may be a callback to earlier as we began this episode, but uh, yes, finally, sweet, sweet host Valid. <laughs> well, well. Finally, I'm the, I'm going to be in control of the show. I mean, the podcast, but well, I mean, not technically in in control because I mean, well, I mean, it is my episode, but I mean, I'm kind of am a little nervous, but. 
Dude, you got this in the bag. Are you sure? Uh, come on, dude. We've already do done, at this point, point six episodes, uh, seven episodes of this series. I think you can handle oh. this one. Uh, even though the holiday episode had to be delayed. Even though the holiday episode technically had to be delayed, yeah. Yeah, I do. I mean, that's still kind of going to be, hold on, wait. That's still kind of going to be episode, like, three, right? Yeah. Oh. Kind of. Oh, it, uh, kind of? Kind of. But then the real episode three is the review clues we get, right? Yep, yep. Mm. Okay. But yeah, uh, it'll make sense once I oh once I get it up uh, up during the holiday season. I promise. Okay, but I'm still just a little scared about doing the show on my own. I mean, oh come on, dude! Uh, come, come on, dude! Dude, I'm even gonna let you talk all about about well not all. Now, but oh, about a little bit more about, about some of your other projects. Oh, I mean, that won't be so bad. See, totally. I mean, hey, at least they could talk a lot. I mean, at least they could, could talk a lot more about my Wattpad and my TikTok and my YouTube and my Instagram. <laughs> See, you got this, dude. Okay, I'm warning you. I got a lot of stories on this one, Pat. Uh, well, we still gotta Look keep. Uh, we still gotta keep the podcast amount of all length, man. So maybe not all your stories. <laughs> oh right, because I got like a because I got about a bunch of stories. I got like almost like sixty, give or take. Sheesh. Uh, but yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Well. We'll see you. Well, actually, oh, Pizzini Goes to Ride's going to be host next time. I'll let him close the episode. Well, yeah, please like and subscribe and comment and save this video and like the heck out of it. And we'll see you next episode. Um, yeah. Bye. Bye, guys.